So today I'm here to do about growing my nails out long because a lot of people ask me all the time, you know, whether they're real nails, these are my real nails, they just grow out super long and I don't really, like, I rarely do anything with them. So I'm just going to talk about, like, some things that I think might help your nail grow longer. But before that, I want to do a quick little update that might take a minute or two. I'll put If you don't want to hear me talking, I'll put an annotation here so you can go check out my tips kind of thing. Okay, so the contest is almost over. It's over on Friday. Now, it is over at 12 p.m. Friday. 12 a.m., right? Yeah, 12 a.m. Friday at night. So some of you asked me if I would do a video on Friday morning. I'm not going to be post a winner's video on the in the morning on Friday. It'll probably come up on Saturday or Sunday. Now another thing I want to talk about is I want to thank all of you who are still subscribed. Um, there's been a lot of people subs on subscribing. And I mean, I don't really mind that because I can't really force you to like my videos if you don't. So, I mean, I guess that's just how it is. But, um, I know who you are because I have all the entries in my message, um, in box. I don't delete any one of those. So, if I would take my time to check it, I would figure out who you are. But I just don't think it's worth it to waste my time on something like that. Um, I'm not going to block you or whatever. Just want to keep things peaceful and all that stuff. And I want to thank you guys who are truly subscribed to watch my videos and to support me and not just for the contest. And I think it's very, very kind of you to, you know, not unsubscribe and subscribe again if I have another contest. Let's get on to the tips on growing my nails. As you can see, they're pretty long. They're not yellow or disgusting looking or anything. Okay, so... I don't know why, but before, um, when I had long nails, it would get dirty really easily. I guess that was because I was too young and I would touch, like, everything. So that's why they would get dirty, but now they're just okay. Now, this is one mistake that everyone makes, mostly everyone, um, makes on keeping their nails clean. You know, when you get dirty stuff in there, you just think it's really disgusting. You want to get it out. Now, tip... So the first tip is that do not use a toothpick or a pencil or anything sharp and dig into that spot and get all the black stuff out because basically the toothpick, it's very, very sharp and when you do that, it's going to make this opening right here where it's connected to your skin, the nail, bigger and it's going to make that, that gap bigger so more dirt, it will be easier for dirt to come in and when you do that, Every time dirt's come in, you'll get more dirt, so or dust or whatever bacteria. So do not use anything sharp and poke. Up. Just try to wash your hands and you know kind of rub it a little bit, but don't use anything sharp and go in and poke it and because that's just bad for your nails. The tip that I have is don't bite your nails. Now I know it's kind of hard um, to stop biting your nails if you are a nail biter, because I was a nail biter when I was younger. So here's what happened. So basically, um, I don't know how my parents figured this out, but they just figured out that I needed vitamins, because, I don't know, I don't seem like I have a lot of vitamins. So they got me these vitamin gummy bears that you can find at Costco. Um, they're pretty good tasting, and they're good for you. So they got me those and I kept eating it and then I started to realize that I don't bite my nails anymore. So for me, the main reason is vitamins. Biting your nails, it's kind of like the act of not having enough vitamins in your body. So you want to eat a lot of vitamins, either eat some fruits with vitamins. We all know that oranges have vitamins. You can also go get those vitamin pills. Um, so you'll have a specific amount of vitamin and take every day. And that would really just help you stop biting your nails and make your nails. The third tip that I have is that don't paint your nails too often. Um, because painting your nails, the nail polish is going to cover it up, not allowing your nail to breathe. It might sound crazy, but your nail needs air and needs to breathe once in a while. So if you always cover it up, um, it will really take all the nutrients out of your nail. And it will become very, very, very weak and will break very easily. 
So do not paint your nails very often. I paint my nails once every month, and I know that's kind of not a lot. You know, you can maybe do it twice every month, but I just do it once every month. At least that's what I try to do. Like, if I paint it three times this month, I will not paint my nails for another two months. Do you know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard because I love nail polish, but you really want what's good for your nails. And if it, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do the middle finger thing. But you really want stuff that's good for your nails and really want to think about your nails in the future because you don't want to be stuck with like bad nails in the, when you grow up and all. Also, when you're doing a manicure, when you're filing your nails, um, I'll just use this thing as a nail filer. When you're filing your nails, a lot of people do this. They go back and... I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm using this finger. But a lot of people you go back and forth and back and forth. And that is really bad because it breaks your nails. Like, not literally breaks your nails, but it is bad for your nails and it is breaking your nails. So what you want to do is you just want to go in one direction. You go in this direction and bring it back and go in this direction again. Or you could go in this direction and bring it back and go in that direction again. So, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, kind of stay um, going in the same direction. Um, number four actually is not really, like, a tip. But um, some of my friends tried nail growth treatments and um, I've tried a Sally Hansen one when I was younger and it didn't really work at all. It was like $10, so that was kind of pointless. But I don't really use nail growth treatments. This, to get my nails to be this long, it normally takes me about two weeks, I guess. Um, one and a half, I guess. So, yeah, and that is basically all the tip that I have right now for growing your nails out healthy and clean. And, yeah. You really don't want to, like, kind of pick on the skin around it. I sometimes do that a lot, like, with this finger, kind of around here. Um, you really don't want to do that, because then you're going to look like you have, like, really bad nails, and the skin's going to be all peeled off and all that stuff. So just keep it neat, keep it clean, keep it healthy. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tip and I hope that if you want to grow your nails out or something, this kind of helped somewhat in a way. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.